Weika Wang's debut novel, Chemistry, explores the complexities of a young woman's struggle to find her identity and reconcile with her past. The novel's protagonist, known only as The Narrator, is a Chinese-American graduate student in chemistry at a prestigious university in Boston. She is struggling to complete her Ph.D. thesis while coping with the aftermath of her parents' expectations and a failed engagement. The novel presents a unique narrative structure that combines the protagonist's internal monologue with flashbacks and dream sequences, which reveal her past traumas and her innermost thoughts. One of the most striking aspects of chemistry is its vivid portrayal of the narrator's internal conflicts. She is plagued by self-doubt and an intense fear of failure, which is exacerbated by her parents' relentless pressure to succeed academically. The narrator's mental and emotional turmoil is conveyed through her fragmented thoughts and stream-of-consciousness narration, which effectively captures the anxiety and confusion that she experiences. For instance, she oscillates between wanting to quit her PhD program and feeling compelled to complete it, as it represents her only chance at success and validation. The narrator's ambivalence is further underscored by her inability to decide on a thesis topic, as she feels trapped by her own indecisiveness and lack of confidence. Another significant theme in the novel is the narrator's struggles with her cultural identity and her relationship with her parents. As a Chinese-American, she grapples with conflicting values and expectations, particularly regarding career goals and relationships. The narrator's parents, who immigrated to the U.S. from China, have high expectations for their daughter's academic and professional success, and often criticize her for not being ambitious enough. Additionally, the narrator is haunted by memories of her childhood, particularly her father's authoritarianism and her mother's emotional detachment. These memories, which are interspersed throughout the novel, provide insight into the narrator's psyche and illuminate her present-day struggles. The novel also explores the narrator's romantic relationships, particularly her failed engagement with a man she calls Eric. Eric's character is not fully fleshed out, but he serves as a symbol of the narrator's inability to connect with others and her fear of intimacy. The narrator's conflicted feelings towards Eric are exemplified by her recurrent dreams about him, which range from erotic fantasies to nightmares. Moreover, the narrator's past traumas, particularly her parents' emotional neglect and her mother's suicide attempt, have left her emotionally scarred and hesitant to open up to others. Finally, chemistry offers a poignant commentary on the pressures and demands of academia, particularly in the STEM fields. The narrator's struggles with her thesis and her mentor's expectations illustrate the cutthroat nature of academic research, which often values productivity over personal well-being. Moreover, the novel portrays the rampant sexism and racism that exist in academia, particularly for women and people of color. The narrator's experiences of being belittled and undermined by her male colleagues highlight the challenges that women face in male-dominated fields. In conclusion, Weika Wong's Chemistry is a poignant and introspective novel that explores themes of identity, trauma, and academia. Through its fragmented narrative structure and vivid portrayal of the protagonist's inner conflicts, the novel effectively conveys the complexities of the human psyche. Moreover, the novel's commentary on cultural expectations and academic pressures is timely and thought-provoking. 
Overall, Chemistry is a masterful debut that showcases Wong's skill as a writer and her ability to capture the nuances of the human experience.